Hi boys and girls, auntie and uncle, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is CK and my channel is Decology, where I bring my viewers around the world to eat, see and explore and explore every part of Singapore I intend to. And today is a very special episode because today I am bringing you to one of the most fabulous island here in Singapore. Now Singapore is the most highly urbanized places on the planet but there is one spot in Singapore that is perfectly preserved in original kampong setting. This island is called Pulau Ubin. Pulau Ubin is situated on the northeastern part of Singapore, just a 15 minute ferry ride away from main island of Singapore. Now the word Pulau Ubin comes from the Malay word Jubin, which means granite, because the island, once a fishing village was transformed into a huge quarry mine. At its peak, Pulau Ubin was home to more than 4,000 Singaporeans. Today, less than 50 of them still remain in Pulau Ubin. So if you want to know what Singapore looked like before it became so highly urbanized, I'm bringing you there. So I'm waiting for my friends to gather and we're going to take a 15 minute ferry ride to the island. I'm so excited about this trip because Pulau Ubin is now the most popular weekend places to go here in Singapore. It's gonna wait for my friends and then we're ready to take off with the ferry. Old days, I used to think I'm the problem That I was way too sensitive React and way too much Until I realized we were different types Carrying a different triggers, scaring us to death. Oh, someday we will collide someplace where we can hide our space. Forget the world outside just for a while. Some way we will be fine, safe place, just you and I. So I am at Yak Hong. Yak Hong I am, and this is the one of the only two provincial store that used to serve the people of Ubin. And when you're here, say hello to Auntie Ng. She married here since 1975, and she kept the store open uh, from her uh, father-in-law. And this shop is like really opened 365 days. There are no rest days. So when you come to Pula Ubin, uh, do visit this store which is now quite historical and also say hello to the parrot who is who used to be very talkative but he's parrot. like old age now so he doesn't really parrot. talk and his name is parrot, parrot. <laughs> <laughs> So we're at the town square and you are looking at traditional Chinese theatre stage. This is the only two Chinese theatre stage left in Singapore. There is no more but only two left on like special occasions like Chinese New Year and Hungry Ghost Month. There's a Chinese uh, opera performing here. Two of, there's only two left in Singapore. And so here is the Topekong Temple of Pulau Ubin. So Topekong is like a deity that every Southeast Asian village would have. Like Topekong is like protecting the village. And this Topekong is protecting Pulau Ubin. And there's about eight deity here. And in 2019, the temple celebrated 150 years of uh, establishing this temple. So there was a huge party in 2019. 
uh, to rebuild and refurbish. And they, they since then rebuilt and refurbished this temple. So pay your tribute to uh, the Pula Ubin Stop Mekong when you're here, which is very historical. So for breakfast, breakfast, breakfast here at Pulau Udin is definitely Mela's Cafe's Mi Siam. Look at that. It looks a very kampong setting, this cafe, Kopitiam. And you must have Mela's Cafe Mi Siam, which they are very, very famous for. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. It's super kampong flavor. Mm. Oh wow, I think the broth is um, super, super thick. Mm. Oh, finally a good Malay mee siam, which I found here in Pulau Ubi. Um, Mela Cafe is where you want to head first when you arrive. It's just at the front of the jetty, which is so, so convenient. Mm. Amazing. So we've started our trip. We're gonna go through the kampongs and see some of the villages here in Pulau Ubin. And uh, as I said, Pulau Ubin is a granite island. And the granite that was quarried here was shipped to Singapore for landfill purposes. And it went on to build some of the most iconic landmark in Singapore, including the Raffles Lighthouse, Fort Canning, and also the Johor Causeway. All the granites were partially from here, from Pulau Ubin. So the rain stopped and we're going through off beaten path and it's so so super quiet here. You cannot imagine this is Singapore but it is like wilderness and actually I'm glad, I'm glad it rained because there's less mosquito and it's cooler now but uh, I have never done this in Singapore which is like really 
natural walking path without pavement. And that's the first for me in Singapore. But it's very quiet with the nature. Um, you are advised not to feed the animal. And if, if there's wild animal passes by, you have to photograph them from a distance. And again, no feeding of wild animals here. There are monkeys here, of course. There are wild boars. Um, Pulau Ubin itself is actually made up of seven different ecosystems. And uh, it, it's really, I would say, the richest biodiversity um, in the country is Pulau Ubin. We will be fine, safe place, just you and I, always. I will wait for us to We stopped uh, at a coconut drinking place. The coconut was five dollars, but uh, uncle say it's from Thailand because the coconut here is being picked already by the monkeys, so the coconuts are all imported. That's why it costs five dollars. But delicious, nevertheless, the coconut. Um, and then we'll continue our walk here in Ubin. So this was a place where they host Japanese students for exchange. Exchange. The, the student exchange, right? Okay, so this is where they host the student exchange house. It's not in use now, but uh, it's abandoned now. Oh, this used to be the... The, the wood that hits the gong la. Ah, right, right. School time. Yeah, yeah. Ah. School bell. School bell. Yeah. So that is our trip um, here in Pulau Ubin. Uh, certainly Pulau Ubin is, uh, they don't promote Pulau Ubin enough, right Nick? Yes, yeah, it's really like the last greenery spot here in Singapore. And I think N Park, which now owns the island, is doing a fantastic job, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, did you enjoy your trip here, Matt? I do. Yeah. So Love I, it. Yeah, so I'm definitely coming back because, uh, it, it, as I said, at one time it had 4,000 residents and now they've all resettled in HDB in, in, in the mainland. But do come to Pulau Ubin and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Kick like! Pulau Ubin! <laughs>